Let's make sure that the gap between Vlad Lomko and Kiffin Simpson and all the way through the grid is just about right. It's certainly very neat and tidy at the front. Slightly questionable further back. European Le Mans Series, though, is go for another season. Season 20 of 2023 as 42 cars head for Turn 1. And Marino Sato wasting absolutely no time at all in trying to get the nose of the United Order Sports 22 car down the inside of Rui Andrade and Kiffin Simpson by the looks of things. He's got to third position. Kiffin Simpson just ahead in the blue and dark grey of Algarve Pro Racing. Vlad Lomko, a 17-year-old. Oh, oh carnage at the back. And that's the Wockenspiegel team. Monschau, Rinaldi car also off, is, off the road is the 72 Aston Martin, yeah, that's which has been started by Arnold Robin for TF Sports, Graham. That's turn three, and both cars off and not looking like they're going to be further. And if that car can't be moved under its own power from the middle of the circuit, there's almost inevitably... See, see what's happened here. Incident happened. It was already across the road and was collected. I think there's an impact as well with GMB Motorsport, Aston Martin. That car is going to be in trouble as well. And there's a third car in the dust as well. It's the 77. Christian Reed in car 77. There's the 44. Out Debut. of the race already. 44. Oh, there is indeed big damage there. Are they going to get there. that car back? It's safety a safety car. car automatically, which will close the pit lane. Get by those cars. Is anybody else going to peel off? Because it was there's a message about car 10 as well. That should start in the main grid. But they're all over the place here at the start of the race. We are racing for the European Le Mans Series at Luc Castellet. Well, that's looked to me to be a start that will require some investigation. Bouncing their way through the S-Bend at Ferrari, and I really do mean bouncing, because Henrik Hedman has spun in the middle of the road, but there were three cars straight-lining the blue striped section of the track, which is considered not to be the track at all. It's been a good getaway for Vlad Lomko. That's entirely what he would have been wishing, but there was nobody level with him. Side by side across the grid, it should have been, and level with the grid hatchings. We'll find out in, a well, probably about half an hour as to what that uh, was all about. But uh, the number three car has gone into the race now. Now, I thought from starting from the pit lane, you would have to start a lap down as well, but the DKR engineering car of Tom von Rompuy is behind the 81, which was the Henrik Hedman early spinner in the white with the dark blue and stars from the Star Spangled Banner, Dragon Speed car. No, he's still on pit lane, uh, the number three car, unless you saw him leaving. Well, he's only just arrived because that P wasn't there 10 seconds yeah, ago. Uh, there's something a bit odd about that. 81, by the way, Henrik Hedman has got away from that spin and did not appear to have suffered contact. Oli Jarvis is up to 27th position already from 41st on the grid. He's already basically passed all of the GTE cars, but Vlad Lomko is building a nice little gap here of a second as the battle is on now between Edex Sport and Algarve Pro Racing. So it's Paul Lafargue, the silver-rated driver, installed for the first stint, and Bar Barbadian driver Kiffin Simpson to the inside, number 65, and uh, Panis Racing, sorry, Mal 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 Maldonado, I should say, in the 65 car. So Kiffin Simpson has dropped a little further behind, it would appear. Paul Lafargue and Manuel Maldonado running. For the first time ever, the European Le Mans series is about to get rolling for round three of the 2023 season here at Aragon. What's the start going to be like for Phil Hansen on the right of your shot? Got the car stopped nicely, did the Brit, and ahead of Nico Pino in the green and black. Duquesne team car, which it's the number 30 feeding into the sequence. Then it is Rui Andrade for inter-Europol competition. So it's as they qualify with Vlad Lomko now under pressure in the 47, though, from Manuel Maldonado in the number 65 Panis racing car. So those top eight uh, LMP2s, well, seven really, would remember James Allen starting at the very rear of the field and having to work his way through. James had to start that car as the fastest driver within it this weekend. Yep, uh, looking racy, Malbon Maldonado in the early corners of that lap. Keep an eye too on from the back of the grid, the number 25 car of James Allen has already made several overtakes in the GTE field. We'll make rapid progress, but he's got to be careful. Sure footed, there he comes into the picture. Already ahead of the 72 Aston Martin. And they come for the first time through this 
through and into this bus stop section. Yeah. So already reached the middle portion of the second sector, about to burst their way into the relatively short uh, third sector, which is a, a straight that's about 1.1 kilometres. So a real chance to get the toe on the car in front and then dive either up the inside or we have seen overtakes around the outside at turn 16 through the course of the weekend already. These leading LMP2 cars will do around about 40 minutes on fuel. There's contact, is there? Or a bit of bodywork that gets loose? I think it was the inspection hatch on the P3 Threes. cars. I think it's the Euro International car. I think that may be the leading car of Adam uh, Ali. We'll keep an eye on that one. OK, well, it suddenly just popped out from its position, as a, either as a result of some contact earlier on in the lap, or it's just the air oh, getting underneath it. Oh. That was the 57 of Takeshi Kimura on Michael Fassbender, but Fassbender almost anticipated that contact and was able to keep the car just about straight, leaving turn 16 for the first time. Wow. Wow. Making sure that you are over the grid hatchings, which everyone is just about able to do, coming out of that final corner at turn 19. And for the fourth time in 2023, we, we are racing with the European Le Mans series at Spa Francorchamps. Investigation. And already a huge accident because several cars could not stop. The 22 United Order Sports car is off the road, but who was that on the inside? It was into two cars. 65, locked up way, way, way before the corner three, four cars off in the gravel. So that was Manuel Maldonado starting the Panis car and cleaning out two 20. further LMP2s. René Binder hooked up in that, Paul Lafargue in the 28 car, the and Marino car. Sato yeah. is in the gravel trap at the first corner. So now Kiffin Simpson leads from the pole position, but the massive place gain is Rui Andrade up to second position for inter Europol competition. Yeah, Paul Lafargue involved in that, René Binder involved in that, the 31 Racing Spirit Le Mans car is also in trouble. Looks to me like a couple of those cars have now got away. Maldonado's got away, Lafarge has got away, but Sato, Reddy Binder and Jacques Wolf have moved no further thus far. So I need to find out exactly where Paul Lafargue uh, was at the first corner and uh, whether he was one of the ones locking up as well. They all seem to be on the driver's right hand side of the grid. And we talked about cold tyres and cold brakes. The ambient temperature nowhere near, of course, as high as it was uh, one round ago in Aragon. And uh, amazingly, Marino Sato is moving again. Significant damage to the back of that car. It's the, under, it's the underfloor of that car. Now, whether or not that's as simple as the rear clip, I'm not sure. Let's hope for United Autosports. That's the case. So, so far... We are under safety car. Safety we are car, unsurprising. Safety car. Just shut oh, This weekend... In round five of the European Le Mans series, very well behaved, waiting for those red lights to go out, which they do now. It's a great getaway from Kiffin Simpson. Now a lock-up, though, around the outside for Manuel Maldonado for Panis Racing. He's actually going to lose positions as a result of that, fighting to squeeze back in behind the Duquesne team of René Binder. So Maldonado through the first split in fifth position. And now the concertina effect in LMP3. There's a car facing the wrong way there. That might even be the pole sitter of Michael Jensen. Did the eight car come through? The one that's tumbling down for Virage is in fact Jackson, the, it's, it's, a P2. It's, it's a P2, I beg your pardon. It's the pole sitter from LMP2 Pro-Am. So it's the 19 car that does not complete the first sector and it was facing the wrong way. Here he is in a quite a predicament on the opening lap, Graham. Absolutely, didn't see the incident that caused that, but it's a place that quite often you see these cars compress as up the inside in the United Autosports, up the inside of Enti Europol. That is Phil Hansen going through Bob Paul, the fog, and Rio Andrade in the early stage of this lap to go up to second place behind Kiffin Simpson. Game on. Charging down the inside there, René Binder, who will be side by side with the 43 car of Rui Andrade, but Andrade has the better line into turn 14 sort of within his rights to edge Binder out a little bit, but not as wide as the car up front, That's, which that is was Phil Hansen. Hansen. Yeah, Hansen way wide. Yeah, so maybe just misjudging the amount of tyre temper he's got in the early stage. René Binder, Lights Vlad Lomko green. and no the rest. Before the line, no overtaking before the line, but finally, after such a long wait, the final round of the European Le Mans series is green, green, green.
And some very smart moves there from Phil Hansen and Manuel Maldonado to get well out of the spray kicked up from Paul Lafargue. So at least they could see the breaking point. And Hansen's going to waste absolutely no time at all in charging down the inside of the Frenchman to take the race lead. He's gold, remember, compared to Paul Lafargue being silver. And this was all part of the game plan of nominating Phil Hansen as the starting driver for United Autosports. They wanted to get the lead and they ideally wanted to get a decent gap before those first pit stops in LMP2. So great stuff at the restart. It's order restored, three wide and off to the side. Paul Lafarge being eaten up here by the competition behind. He's dropping back and he's down now to what is that fifth place. Phil Hansen away and clear ahead of the Duquesne team car of Rennie Binder. Oh, trouble for the 37 car. That'll be Alexandra Kwani, I think. He's been turned around, drops down through the LMP3 order as he tries to recover at turn five. That is, I think, going to be a problem area, still standing water there. Aboard here with Rennie Binder. Up to second place behind Phil Hansen, Manuel Maldonado up to third, Giffen Simpson fourth. And there's trouble for. That's the replay. So that's what happened. Phil Hansen everybody. Ran, ran into the turn five, far, far too deep. And the big loser there was Paul Lafargue, uh, losing three positions. Quite a melee in LMP3 as well. And now the Duc Duquesne car with a bizarre line through turn 13 for its starting driver, Rene Binder. So these are testing times to find out precisely where any of the grip is. Phil Hansen with a moment, his first run into the hairpin. At least he controlled that. But they, you're right, three abreast for a time. And Rene Binder has lost one, two, three, four places at least. Make that five now as he slips back to seventh position.